Hey, hello once again, YouTube. This is Mike Roadway, and today I'm going to talk about this little guy called the Positive Crankcase Ventilation Valve, a key component to your car's emission systems and one little piece that can absolutely wreak havoc on your car. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk about this little valve, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to switch it out on your car. Specifically, I'm going to do this on my 2023 BRZ. Let's get to it. So this little piece, albeit small, can absolutely wreak havoc on your engine. And why I say that is because it can cause your car's idle to actually be a little wobbly. It can also cause excess oil consumption, which obviously is a terrible thing. So if you're routinely, hopefully, checking your dipstick, uh, you know, every time you gas up the car, or preferably every week or two, you notice that oil's going down for no apparent reason, this could be the culprit. Likewise, you can smell a little bit of burnt oil. This little valve gets closed, then oil can get stuck and get processed back into the engine. It'll start burning and you'll kind of smell. And then for me in particular, what I noticed was this kind of like pulley sort of whistling noise. I actually thought that within my car, I thought the uh, tensioner pulley on the front of my engine was actually kind of messed up because it had that kind of tone. And, uh, you know, when I looked into it, it wasn't that. And I noticed that a little bit of a stumbly engine and I could smell just a touch of oil. And I was like, you know what? Even though my car only has 8,000 miles, maybe it's this little valve. So sure enough, I took it apart and I took a look and it was stuck and covered in oil. So not good. And when I shook it, I didn't have a nice little jingling noise. I kind of like a clunk and it was sort of stuck. So I pulled it out. I cleaned it. Uh, I put it in some brake fluid for about 20 or 30 minutes and then washed it out and sure enough the car ran fine. But just for safekeeping I went through Subaru parts and uh, I ordered another one so only like a $15 part and I'm going to go ahead and put this on my car and completely replace the valve that I had cleaned and I'm going to show you guys the process. So first thing is first and that is locating your PCV valve. So on almost every single engine it's going to be on the back side of your upper intake manifold. So this area here. And you look towards the back, and we're gonna just pull this off. There we go, pull that little case off. And you are going to see up on the top, this is a nice little braided, or at least a braided cover hose. And this is the ventilation system itself. And then right down here, and you'll, you'll see it better once I pull this hose off, there is a valve within this hose. So we have to remove the hose, it'll expose the valve, and then it's a little bit tricky to get to, but uh, we'll be able to go ahead and uh, use a 22 millimeter socket and get this little baby off, and we'll be able to replace it fairly quickly. So let me show you guys the tools that are required. This obviously varies depending on what car you have, but you have to have your replacement valve. I have a enormous extension. It's probably overdoing it, but that's the way I roll. I've got uh, the socket wrench. This is to help remove hoses if I need it. And then critical on the BRZ and probably many other cars, but you're gonna need a 22 millimeter socket and you have to have a little wobble extension. If you don't have this wobble, you are not going to get this. I 100% guarantee it. So with that all together, we'll piece this. It looks a lot like that. That's what we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and pull these hoses off. Here is the screwdriver, and that's just to help ease this off. It's like a plastic component, so you don't wanna go full Arnold on this or anything. There, that slides right off. And now for this bottom part, there's really no way, no good way to get to this. You're gonna have to manhandle it and just yank up with all your might and this sucker will come off. As long as your car is not too old, it won't tear the hose. Oh yeah, still kinda loose from the last one. 
All right, just a touch of oil residue actually there. Just a touch, so it's good that I'm replacing that. Here is the hose in question. And now we can actually see right down there. Boom. And I'll point to it with my this. That is your PCV valve. That little guy on the back side of your engine block can cause so many problems. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, Frankenstein concoction uh, socket set onto this. And we'll go ahead and remove it. So what I like to do first is put this on because there's uh, not a lot of clearance within the, the casing back here. So I'm going to put the socket actually on the PCV. Okay, so that's already on there. I'll show you. So I put the socket on first. There you go. So that big socket is on there. And now I will put this on. Okay. So now you can see it's coming together. I've actually got both of them on. And now to get the big extension on it, and I'll go ahead and remove this sucker. There we go. There we go. There we go, fish that baby out. And Voila, we have a clean, because I cleaned the last time, but you can actually see some oil here, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you can expect to see oil in here. Uh, however, I know this thing was malfunctioning. So you got, it should sound like a little rattle, not a clunk. That's no bueno. Let's get the new one. Hear that? Like itty bitty little marbles? That's the sound of a good one. So while I was able to run uh, for about a week without problems, this old piece quickly plugged back up. So definitely a bad PCV. It sounds like crap and it looks like it's already stuck again. So problematic, but that's why we got the new one. So now all I'm gonna do is just reverse order this and uh, we'll get this back in the car. I'm going to install the new PCV first. Just uh, gonna hand tighten it. Sorry, I can't really get a good camera angle here, but it's pretty simple. You just drop it back into the same hole and it, it's a little tricky to thread it right. Just be very, very patient. And make sure you hand thread this first. Do not put any kind of tool on it. And there we go, pretty good. And then we're gonna snag Frankenstein again. Same thing. I'm going to just place this on first so that way I can kind of get the clearance. See if I can hand tighten it just a little bit more with this. Yeah. And then wobble on next. Here's the wobble. There we go. We've got this back on. So that is that. Now that we've got it in, I'll torque it down and just uh, place this hose back on and you are ready to rock and roll with the new PCV. So if you guys appreciate this little tech tip, I'd appreciate if you guys hit the like button and smash the subscribe. If you want to see more for little tech tips, some great road trips that are coming up and more stuff with my Subaru BRZ. Thanks a lot guys for tuning in and as always, drive on.